Did you know that heart disease is the number one cause of death worldwide? But many people still confuse a heart attack with cardiac arrest. Both are serious, but they are not safe. Do you know the difference? Understanding this can save a life. So stay with me till the end. I will break down everything you need to know about heart attack and cardiac disease. What they are, why they happen, their symptoms, their treatment and, and how you can help someone in emergencies. Hi, I am Shorab Borwa, a pharmacist with years of experience. In this video, I will describe about the difference between cardiac arrest and heart attack. First, we have to know what is heart attack. Heart attack also known as myocardial infraction. A heart attack occurs when blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked, usually due to clot, fat, cholesterol building up in your coronary arteries. The heart is continuous to beat, but the part of it is stabbing for oxygen. Means your heart is continue pumping is continuous circulating blood through your body but there is some fat and cholesterol in your coronary arteries they block the passes that's why the particular part cannot get enough oxygen enough blood according to their needs you can imagine like a five in your house getting clot with the water cannot flow properly similarly when an artery in your heart gets blocked blood flow stops leading to heart attack. Now we are going to know what are the main causes of heart attack. There are different causes of heart attack. The most common cause is coronary artery disease. It is the main cause. I also inform coronary artery disease means there is some clot or plaque or some block in your coronary arteries. There are different types of block is there 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree. That means in your coronary arteries, in your venous arteries, there is some fat or cholesterol uh, stay and it blocks your pathway. That's why your blood cannot flow properly. The main reason is coronary arteries. Second reason is high cholesterol. You know, there is two types of cholesterol is there, SDL and LDL. LDL also known as bad cholesterol and SDL also known as good cholesterol. When LDL is stored in your pain and it also block the passes of the blood flow. Third is high blood pressure. It's also a cause of heart attack. Second is diabetes and smoking, stress and obesity also the causes of heart attack. Symptoms of heart attack. There is different types of symptoms, different symptoms available for the understanding the heart attack. The first main symptom is chest pain. Why your chest feeling more pressure, more squeezing and burning? It also indicate you having a mild heart attack. It's not always same like this. Someone having chest pain during workout, during working also. That doesn't mean you have a heart attack. Uh, the second symptoms is the pain always try to sprinting to your left arm, jaw, back or stomach. Third is shortness of breath. Cold sweat, nausea and vomiting, dizziness and fatigue. This is the most common symptoms of heart attack. Now we are going to know what is cardiac arrest. A cardiac arrest is when the heart suddenly stops beating. It caused by an electrical malfunction in your heart leading to an irregular heartbeat like arrhythmia. Unlike a heart attack, which is due to the blockage, a cardiac arrest completely shuts down the heart pumping abilities, stopping blood flow to the brain or others organ. In cardiac arrest, your heartbeat stops. It cannot work properly. For understanding cardiac arrest, you can think like a light bulb that is suddenly turned off due to power failure. That is what happened to the heart during cardiac arrest. Your heart become a stop because there is some electrical in, impulse malfunction is there. What is the common causes of cardiac arrest? The common causes, the main cause of cardiac arrest, heart attack. Yes, 
a heart attack can lead to cardiac arrest. The second cause is irregular heartbeat. You know our heart has a heartbeat has a rhythm. There is systolic pressure, diastolic pressure. When the heart beats irregularly, there is um, bradycardia and tachycardia. There is increase. Uh, there is increase of heartbeat. There is decrease of heartbeat. It's known as irregular heartbeat or arrhythmia. It's also cause of cardiac arrest. Then medicine overdose also the cause of cardiac arrest. Symptoms of cardiac arrest. In cardiac arrest, there is sudden collapse means there is no pulse no breathing loss of consciousness you know in a heart attack the patient having the consciousness but in cardiac arrest the patient having no pulse no breathing and the no consciousness also until now we understand the difference between cardiac arrest and heart attack in heart attack a patient having consciousness it may damage some heart muscle due to the blockage of the artery but in cardiac arrest there is no pulse there is no consciousness of the patient and it's occurred for the heart attack uh, for a heart attack and cardiac arrest what we will do we can do uh, emergency a number uh, for medical support for hospitalization and for a heart attack we can give some aspirin cpr we will discuss it later now we are going to know what to do in emergency of someone having heart attack you know the symptoms of heart attack is chest pain burning sensation in the chest and the uh, pain is spreading to left arm jaw back and stomach if someone complaining to you like they are feeling so much chest pain like this it may the symptoms of the heart attack then what you will do in that situation first step one call emergency service immediately step two Help the person sit down and stay calm. Always uh, try to who have who are complaining they having chest pain. Try to sit down, sit down and stay calm. Step three, give an aspirin if it's not allergic to aspirin. You know aspirin it helps thin the blood. Step four, loosen tight tightening clothing and keep the person relaxed. If the person wearing any tight cloth like shirts, help to remove his shirts also. Step 5. If the person become unconsciousness, be ready to perform CPR. How will do perform CPR? We will learn in others video. What you will do if you find someone having cardiac arrest? Again, step 1. Call for help immediately. Step 2. Check for breathing or pulse. In cardiac arrest, there is no pulse and no consciousness also there. Step 3. If there is no pulse, being CPR, 30 chest compression to rescue breaths is there. Step 4. Use auto automated external defibrillation if available. You know is AAD. Here is a short video of CPR demonstration. Now we are going to know long term management or treatment of the heart attack and cardiac arrest. Heart attack treatment. One, medication. There is different types of medications available like blood thinner is there, beta broker is there, cholesterol lowering drug is there. For this medication, I make a separate video. If you want to watch this video, uh, please go to my channel. You can find those medications video is available there. Like there is some uh, operation also there like uh, open heart surgery is also there bypass surgery is there who having the heart attack means their artery is broke and we can give a new passes of blood flow the cardiac arrest treatment the cardiac arrest treatment there is defibrillation is there shocking the heart back into the rhythm like you know in some movie there is some electrical shock is there is uh, in cardiac arrest there is no impulse and no pulse and no senses also there due to the electrical malfunction in your heart that's why we give defibrillation shocking the heart and medications also they are available and for cardiac arrest uh, we have to change our lifestyle we have to feed our body we have to maintain healthy diet for maintaining a good heart and a healthy body, we have to follow some healthy lifestyle.
there is some healthy lifestyle tips is available like uh, eat a heart healthy diet like more vegetarian more vegan vegan, vegan is there uh, whole grain and healthy fats is there also and most important part is exercise exercise regularly at least 30 minutes daily you have to exercise and third is quit smoking and limit alcohol smoking is very bad to our who having the heart patient who having heart problem they may cause serious problem to the heart patient so we have to give up uh, try to quit uh, smoking and the alcohol also uh, fourth is manage stress you know stress also give pressure to the heart attack and the cardiac arrest it's leading to this heart attack to cardiac arrest so we have to maintain our daily stress also by doing meditation yoga or some of your favorite hobbies and final is regular health checkup monitor your cholesterol level your bp level and sugar level in daily basis is, is effective one so you know a heart attack is a circulation problem while cardiac arrest is electrical problem both are emergencies but require different action remember the faster you act the better you the better chance of survival if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe my channel and share this video who is uh, who is needed and don't forget to comment thank you have a good day